Whether you love or hate Tom Cruise, you think he's a fucking weirdo, you think he's a nut, you know, he might be all those things, but you have to tip your hat to the Mission Impossible franchise. It is a good franchise. It is a consistent it gets consistently better and better and better and better. I think it does at least. Uh, the Mission Impossible films, I remember watching that first Mission Impossible movie when I was a kid. Uh, we used to go to a double feature. I mean, I, my, my brother and I, we used to go to the, we used to go to the Edwards Four Cinema in Mira Mesa, California, and we used to watch uh, the first Mission Impossible movie, and we used to watch Twister on a double feature. We used to watch we probably saw those movies three and four times over the summer so but the mission impossible movies get better and better i mean you have to you have to give it up even if you don't like tom cruise as an actor you must admit the mission impossible films you know they re-up every time and they haven't let me down yet man they have there's great acting they keep it fresh you know it's really good and plus now it's becoming a bit of a series because the last two mission impossible movies have been intertwined what was it um Oh, man, you're going to make me think of the names now. Uh, I know the last one was called Fallout, and then before that it was Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So Fallout and Rogue Nation were were intertwined together. So those two were, were together. So, I mean, this next one, is it going to end up being like a trilogy? Or, I mean, they sewed everything up pretty well for that last one. And Tom Cruise is not getting any younger, but let's check it out. Let's stop talking about it. Let's check it out. This is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, slated for 2023. Let's do it. Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. Whoa, that's a blast from the past. This is our chance to control the truth. The concepts of right and wrong for everyone for centuries to come. You're fighting to save an ideal that doesn't exist. Never did. You need to pick a side. They're going deep on this one. Running, go, Tom. Big finish, come on. Okay. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, look. I mean, so it's not, it's, it's tough to tell from the trailer what exactly that one is all about, but still, I mean, if you were a fan, like I'm a fan, I mean, it looks like it, it looks like I was right. It looks like that is going to be a continuation from the last two. I love that. I'll watch it just based on that because the last two were awesome. You know, it's got that British agent. She's back. That was kind of his love interest, you know, and, you know, they were both in the middle of it at the time, so they couldn't really make the romance happen. Then you got, um, you got the guy from the first one. You got his handler from the very first Mission Impossible movie. That guy with the kind of weird voices. You know, what do you want to do? Put a guy at the airport? Remember that guy? I forget his name. But anyway, he's in that. He was from the very first Mission Impossible, and we haven't seen him since. So who knows? This could be a really good one. This could be one that goes deep. So 
I don't know, man, but it looks good to me, man. Plus, it's got the the White Widow, who is also in the last two. She's in it, you know. So we, we've got some players in here that, you know, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. You know, again, love or hate Tom Cruise, you got to admit the Mission Impossible franchise does not leave you wanting. It definitely has some really good action, a pretty sound storyline. You know, they're good movies, man. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely down for this one, man. I mean, we've been, you know, the Mission Impossible films are great action movies, you know, so they we definitely love them at the Jones house. I'll definitely be checking out Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning for sure. <laughs> 